Good morning. This is going to be my review of the Vivor 2500 watt pure sign inverter. And I'm trying to build a system with it. So, let's see what I do. I will have a link in the description for this inverter. And uh, a code also if they give us a discount. Please look in my description and I think I will probably tag the inverter as well on the product line so that you can see it if you are interested in building your own system. This is the 2500 watt Vivor inverter you're looking at. I'm unboxing it. And I'm going to pull out what comes with this system. Because um, this isn't a great picture, I have shown you everything. I'm showing you everything in the box, but I'm going to go through this. I'm going to speed it up so you get through this pretty fast. And then I'm going to name the parts that come in the box in a better photograph. Now I can give you a better view. Here's your manual. Here's your power inverter remote. Here are your 40 amp fuses. Here is your cord connecting to the battery from the inverter. And this is your cord connecting your rope remote to your inverter. You can see these better. It was a little cloudy just before. So I want to give you a better view of what is coming in the packaging. So as you can see, I have installed the inverter, the 2500 watt inverter, onto the side of a wooden crate. Then I have put the battery inside. I have now connected the battery to the inverter. And basically, that's all you need to run the inverter. You still have to charge the battery when it gets down, but this is very, very simple. And I'll show you. Now, on the inverter, here we go. It's on the off. I'm going to turn it on. And then you're going to have all this information about the battery. 12.8 volt, 60 hertz, 125 volts. Okay. And I can install this remote for this battery so I can put it in a different place and check it. It would be easier to check than this side one. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. I'm very careful about it. So at this point, this is installed. Now, when the battery needs to be charged <coughs> all I have to do is to connect <coughs> this which comes with the battery this connects to positive and negative and then you connect it to an electrical outlet and it charges the battery from the electricity you can also charge it from your car but you would need another inverter from the car and I'll show you that as well but let's continue with the inverter. <clears throat> now these inverters, you can get 1500, 2500, 3500, 4500. So they're very convenient. And I'm going to give you the size. I think I already have, but this is how simple it is. Now I've got a wooden piece that goes over the top. I slip the wires that are connected to the inverter right here through the handle of the wooden crate. So it's going to keep the wiring very protected. Then I've got a wooden board I'm going to put on top. Fits perfectly. And I'm going to hinge this board. This is a cutting board. But I've, I've got something else going on top of this. So I'm going to hinge this board. So all I have to do is just lift it up to get to anything inside. And I will keep all the attachments, the 
brochures, uh, manuals, everything inside. So that's a simple installation. No fuses, again, it's only one battery. You don't really need fuses with one battery. And I'm going to use it minimally in the van right now. I just thought to show you how, what a simple thing this is to do. Now I'm going to do the remote for the inverter. Turn in and off, on and off on a remote button. And I'll show you that as well. You're just going to plug in something. This is a great remote. You can easily read it. You just power it on and off. It gives you all the information you need. And it goes up through the line. And once you become familiar with all that information, look how easy to read this is. I haven't figured out where I'm going to put it. But just so you know, this is the remote. You plug in here. And you plug in down here. And then you can turn it on and off. And you can leave it on with the remote. I just turned it off. It's not turning off. Oh, the remote stays on. So that's a continuous thing telling me what's going on. Interesting. Hmm. So as you can see, we are plugged in. And let's see what we're running. A 250 watt rice cooker. Now running my 800 watt air fryer. I think you can hear it. I'm cooking a pot pie. So, seems to be working fine. The inverter is really excellent. I'm going to be doing a separate video on the, the battery. The battery is only $126 for a lithium LiPo 4 battery. That is an excellent price. They normally run five to $800. So my plan is to build this system for my mini house using this 2500 watt inverter from Vivor. I'm so hoping that I say that correctly. There will be a separate video on the battery. This is mainly for the inverter and just to show you the two basic things you need to have solar in your van at this time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something. Um, let me know if you did, if this was helpful to you at all. But thank you for watching, viewing, liking, and subscribing. I'll see you next time.